Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang source transformation for AC circuits. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay tuturo ko naman sa inyo yung source transformation for AC circuits. So, same lang din to dun sa video ko about source transformation for DC circuits. So, kung ninyo pinapapanood, ililink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. So, minsan kasi pwede nating matransform yung isang voltage source in series with the impedance into a current source with the same parallel impedance naman or the other way around. Kasi, minsan mas mapapadali yung circuit analysis natin pag ginawa natin yon. So, given this figure... So, sabi ko nga, kapag mayroon tayong voltage source in series with an impedance, pwede natin siyang i-transform into current source with the same parallel impedance this time. Kapag mayroon tayong current source with parallel impedance, pwede rin natin siyang ibalik as voltage source with series impedance. So, para makuha natin yung value ng mga Vs at ng Is, gagamitin lang natin is yung Ohm's Law. So, kung mayroon tayong Is parallel sa Zs, ang magiging equivalent Vs natin pag transform natin into voltage source is Vs is equal to Zs times Is. Kapag naman meron tayong Vs in series with Zs, ang formula natin para mahanap yung Is kapag transform natin into parallel current source with an impedance Zs, Is is equal to Vs over Zs. So, ohms na lang. Okay? So, sige, para may illustrate natin, let's solve an example. So, we have calculate Vx in the circuit below. Okay, so meron daw tayong AC circuit which is this. Tapos hanapin daw natin yung voltage drop Vx across this 10 ohm resistor. Okay? So kung mapapansin nyo, itong circuit natin is in terms of impedances na yung mga passive element as well as nakapolar form na rin yung ating voltage source. So therefore, proceed na agad tayo sa circuit analysis. So since meron naman tayong isang independent source which is a voltage source in series dito sa 5 ohm obviously ito lang yung pwede nating matransform into current source parallel with the same resistance na 5 ohm so para masolve natin si IS formula is Vs over Zs right so therefore we have itong Vs is 20 angle negative 90 degree over yung Zs natin na 5 ohm lang so using calculator ilan to for angel negative 90 degree or negative J4 amps, right? So ngayon, i-transform natin as a parallel impedance with a current source. So, so draw natin yung circuit. So magiging current source with parallel 5 ohm resistance, right? So 5 ohm and then itong value natin is negative J4 amp. And then, copy the same circuit. Itong 4 ohm, negative J13 kapasitan. So, 4 ohm, negative J13. Tsaka itong parallel na 3 ohm, tsaka J4 ohm. And then, syempre itong 10 ohm. So, 3 ohm, J4 ohm. Okay. So ngayon, pero uli nating i-transform naman this time itong itong current source parallel na this time dito sa 5 ohm tsaka itong series 3 ohm tsaka J4 ohm para maging voltage source, right? So i-combine muna natin itong impedance na to parallel sila. So let's say Z1. Ilan 'yan? So 5 times yung sum nitong branch na to, 3 plus J4 ohm. Divided by yung sum nila. So, 5 plus 3 plus J4. So, ilan to? Using calculator, it is equal to 2.5 plus J1.25 ohms. So, ngayon, hanapin natin yung Vs. So, Is times Zs. ba? So, we have Is is itong negative J4 times itong Zs, yung J1 na 2.5 plus J times 1.25 so, ilan to? 5 minus J10 volt. Okay, so, redraw natin. So, magiging voltage source ulit siya na may value na 
5 minus J10 volt. And then, magiging in series na dito sa nakuha nating impedance na Z1. So, magiging... So, meron tayong resistive element na 2.5. Tapos, dahil positive siya, para siyang inductor, right? So, may value siya na J1.25 ohm. And then, ang natira is, eto na lang, right? Yung resistor, kapasitor, tsaka resistor. Resistor, kapasitor, and then resistor. So, ilan tong resistor na to? 4 ohm. So, 4 ohm. Tapos, itong kapasitor ay may negative J13 impedance. And then, yung resistor is 10 ohm. Okay? Kung mapapansin nyo, yung mga impedance natin is in series na lang dito sa voltage source natin. So, pwede na natin masolve itong Vx using voltage divider. So, therefore, Vx is equal to itong resistance or impedance nung resistor is 10 over yung total impedance nung circuit, which is sum up lang natin to lahat, right? So, 2.5 plus 4 plus 10 is what? 16.5. And then, J1.25 minus J13 is what? Negative? 11.75J. Then, times natin sa voltage source na 5 minus J10 volt. Okay, so using calculator, ilan to? 5.519 angle, negative 28 degree volts. Okay? So, therefore, nasolve natin yung circuit for Vx using source transformation. Okay? So, I think that's it for this video, source transformation for AC circuits. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunod.